Good morning, everybody. It's Ramona. Welcome back to my channel. Today is Friday, so we're going to do some empties. Mostly wax. I just have a couple other things, which I'll just briefly mention because they're so fast. I finished a laundry liquid Scentsy fluffy fleece. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Cannot say how much I love it. Oh, so good. Just warm, cozy, honestly. It's like flannel sheets right out of the dryer. That's exactly what it smells like to me, and I love it. Now, this was a bummer. Uh, this is Goose Creek Hand Soap in Perfect Day. The scent was fine. Uh, it was extremely watery, watery, watery. I thought it was watery. Jason thought it was watery. And uh, that's just water on the bottom because I poured it out and it, it really wasn't doing anything. Although it's, it's um, the scent notes were really good. Uh, warm amber, creamy sandalwood, and sugar crystal. So the scent was great, but um, this one was watery, which is unusual because I've had a couple other hand soaps. Well, mainly, um, uh, what's the one that I love? Black Amber Plum, uh, which was totally fine. So I'm not sure why this one was so watery, but it was. So that was a thumbs down for that. Um, a couple bags of things. This was a sample of Iridescent, the Walt Disney World 50th anniversary, um, brick. And that's really good. This is almost exactly like somebody has described it as a lot like, um, philosophy, amazing grace. And they're right. It is. So that was really good. So, uh, if you can get it, Iridescent, really good. Um, let me just take a quick minute and I don't believe, yeah, that was a special edition. I was just kind of checking to see if it was in the new catalog, Princess, Ariel Under the Sea, True Love, Princess Awaits, Princess, Winnie the Pooh. No, I thought it was just a, um, a limited edition uh, brick, which it is. But I do want to remind everybody, there is lots of Harry Potter in the current catalog. Uh, so if you're interested, I'll leave my website linked down below. Anyway, getting back to empties, Kay's Creations Lemon Coconut Cookie Bread. So Kay's Creations uh, is one of the first vendors I ordered from when I first got into wax. I don't know, 2018-ish, get something like that maybe. And one of the first scents I ever hoarded, non scentsy was Case Creations Pumpkin House Cafe. Oh, man, that's good. So, so, so good. I have not searched out Case Creations in quite some time. Um, it's very expensive to ship from U.S. to Canada. Like, it's an extra on top of what you're already paying for shipping and the product. It could be up to another $40, $50. So, I don't, I think since I've been here, I've maybe only placed three wax orders something like that, three or four. Um, but anyway, Pumpkin House Cafe at Case Creations is really, really good. This was from VCS Insidious, which is pumpkin pecan waffles, marshmallow fireside, and Palo Santo. This was poured October 21. Um, so this was uh, good, but it was very light. It, they were coins, the you know, the four coins, two coins, two coins. Um, which, and I love the coins. I used to have a whole drawer full of coins and I just love them to look at them all stacked up and there was kind of weird, but if you're a waxy, you know what I mean? Uh, anyhow, be, I think it was like, because I, it was old and although VCS is one of the longest, you know, or one of the companies that have them, their scent lasts the longest. I just think I left it too long, but otherwise it would have been good. Um, this was a bag that I made, uh, I made some tarts with, uh, uh, DD Wax Melts Kona Coffee, and I had some, like, I don't know, half a candle of Bath and Body Works Sweet Cherry Pie. Oh my gosh, this was so good. This was just eating like, it's like exactly like drinking coffee and having cherry pie at the same time. So I'm going to save this bag to remind me because I do have more Kona coffee and um, I do have another sweet cherry pie. I don't think I'm going to cut it for this, but I could do one bar of Kona coffee with one bar of apple cherry strudel. And I think that would be a great mix as well. So I'll be working on that. Okay, for clams, most of them, all of them, but one actually are scentsy because I'm really trying to you know, work on getting my Scentsy stash down because it is quite large. Um, so this was from um, 
This is uh, the bathing garden. It's written on, it's written right there. It's a bathing garden. <laughs> and I just melted this the other night and it was really good. It's Telgi wood, T-U-L-G-E-Y, I think, Telgi wood. And it was cranberry, blueberry ice cream, oak woods, and olive trees. So you definitely got the berry note, but you also got the trees, the woodsy note. And together, this was really good. Scent appeal, 9 out of 10. Throw, 9 out of 10. So if you can get it, get it. It's really, really good. I really enjoyed that one. Okay, and then the, less, the, le the, the rest are scentsy. So I melted another bar because it's good. Strawberry lemon cake, which is the scent of the month for March. Um, and I have the scent notes right here. Uh, fresh strawberries, lemon zest, vanilla buttercream. And that's exactly what it is. It is so good. Uh, if you love bakery scents, I highly recommend it. Highly, highly, highly. So it's the scent of the month for March. And while you're picking that up, you you have to get the bunny. You have to get uh, Hoppy Easter is the warmer. And I have not gotten it yet. I think I'm going to order it when I finish up right here, actually. I am. I think it's gonna, I'm going to put it right on my desk right beside me. And this is the cutest little bunny ever. I love this warmer. And I don't know why I didn't get it when I had the... Well, still, during the month of March, everything in the from scent and warmer of the month is 10% off. I, what I was going to say, I could have got it when I got my consultant kit for the scent of the month. And I opted out of the warmer. I'm not sure... Because I, I, I know why, because I'm thinking I have so many warmers, so I need the warmer. But um, yeah, I do need this warmer. I really do need this warmer. Um, bounce into the season with farmhouse style. A bright hand-carved look brings country charm to your spring decor. Cute, cute, super cute. And tomorrow was Scentsy Saturday, and I've already melted and reviewed the Easter collection. That will be up tomorrow. So order the bunny and the Easter collection and you will be set for spring. So there's that. Okay, moving on. Uh, Huckleberry Hideaway. This was really good. This is fresh picked Huckleberry Mountain Violet and Crisp White Woods. Definitely Huckleberry way up top. Top note comes out strong. Really, really good. A hint of a floral, a light floral, but also a woodsy note or a fresh note in there. It's not just a tart berry. So that's really good. And I would order that again. Uh, pumpkin marshmallow is an oldie but a goodie. It comes back every year. You can see how old this is. Um, this is sticky sweet marshmallow, fresh baked pumpkin and graham cracker crust. Now, the reason why I love pumpkin marshmallow and many people love pumpkin, pumpkin marshmallow is because it's basically just the pumpkin, the marshmallow, and I guess the graham cracker crust, but there's not cinnamon. It's not heavily laden with cinnamon, like a lot of fall pumpkin scents are. So it's great on its own, fabulous on its own, but it's good for a mixer as well. And what I mixed it with was Spiced Ember Glow because this is super strong. Smoked apple, vanilla, and cinnamon embers. And it's very, very smoky. On its own, I find it too smoky. Um, I definitely get the cinnamon embers, um, a little bit of apple. I don't get any vanilla. But I thought, okay, what am I going to mix this with? So I mixed it with the pumpkin marshmallow, and it was a really good mix. So if you have Spiced Ember Glow and you have pumpkin marshmallow, go ahead and hook them up. Okay, I also went through Route 66. This guy here, I have a love-hate relationship with. When I first came out, I loved it. I couldn't get enough of it. Um, and then, for some reason, I fell out of love with it. And this clam had six cubes left. I used two for, I don't know, something or other. Um, it's really strong. Even the empty clam is super, super strong. But, so I thought, let me just, let me just melt this and just get it out of my stash. But I didn't dislike it as much as I thought I was or much as I have in the past. An exhilarating breeze of citrus, herbs, and musk. And it is herby. It's masculine. It's clean. Citrus, I'm not sure. But I definitely get just like a clean, herby, 
um, masculine scent and I actually didn't like I said I didn't dislike it scent appeal six to seven six to seven and I you know in the past I might not have said that I might have said three to four you know I don't know if COVID changed my nose I have no idea but anyhow uh, so scent appeal six to seven throw eight to nine really really strong okay vanilla mint and I did not I've been slacking on putting my scent notes in there Wintergreen frost sparkles over vanilla and frozen citrus. This is so good. If you like crisp, minty, um, outdoorsy, like think of fresh fallen snow, walking in the woods, like it's crisp that way. And you do get the mint. Um, I want to say this leads more to like, winter mint well that makes sense doesn't it but it's always oh, vanilla mint but um yeah it's it's good i i've had this and i've repurchased this several times i really like vanilla mint uh pink berry fluff is pink berry marshmallow and vanilla bean really good um since he had one pink berry mint i think or something something like that uh a retail store has another one pink berry something or other if you like those you'll like this it's really good. Uh, thunderstorm. Ooh, this is so good. You know, this was, this came, was it, how did I get this? It doesn't ever bring back my bar on it. Was it in the last catalog? Maybe? I'm not sure. Anyhow, um, I was going to put this one in my club or Thunderstorm or uh, Southern Evening. And I have to look at my club. I haven't gotten a club in a couple of months. It was probably due to get my club order this month, maybe. Well, I guess April, because it didn't come this month. Oh, yeah, I'm hoping Thunderstorm is the one that I put in my club, because this is very, very good. Uh, very refreshing, sharp, spicy, outdoor fragrance like the breeze in a storm. Exactly that. Just outside, fresh, and breezy. And it's really, really good. Now, I also... it, might, it um. It also could be like a masculine body wash, you know, like, uh, not zest, but maybe like one of those new Old Spice ones. There's like Bear Claw and all those kind of things. Think like that fresh, masculine, really, really good. So I have a couple of those left. And then finally, Cinnamon Buttercream. And this is also in my club. Uh, Italian Buttercream, Mascarpone, and Cinnamon Cake. And it's just exactly what it is. Cake with cinnamon buttercream. It's very delicious. Delicious, delicious. So that's it for this week. Um, so I also want to remind you that there's a $25 join special uh, this month for Sensi. And uh, 25 US, 33 Canadian. So if you were thinking about it, if you want to ask some questions about it before you join, please reach out to me. I can help you, you know, answer some questions, see how it would work for you in your life and what it can do for you in your life. Um, also, there's a Mother's Day collection coming up. The Easter collection is out. There's also going to be um, a brick collection coming out next month, but that's not till April. So anyway... Some more things uh, down the pike for Sensi. I'll leave my Sensi website down below. If you have any questions, please let me know. Hope everyone's having a great and wonderful Friday. I'll see you soon. Bye.